Hey families. Um, for anybody that doesn't know, my name is Alexis Duffy. Um, I'm the director of catechesis here at St. Therese Little Flower. Um, our program is changing. Our religious education program is changing this year. Um, and I wanted to take some time to offer an explanation and um, go into a little bit more detail of what we will be offering. Um, but first and foremost, I want to ground us and um, just take some time to acknowledge that um, one, our parish has gone through so many changes recently. Um, and we have definitely seen the Holy Spirit working in our parish. And with that change, the, the, the needs have, have come, needs of our parish have also changed. Um, and that's why our program is, is shifting a little bit. But before I jump into those different offerings, I wanted to remind us um, why, why we do this. Um, this mission statement for religious education has been uh, a, my starting place. It came um, when I first came to the parish. It, that's when it was formed. Um, and as, as the years have gone by, I've continued to use this as a space, a starting spot in discerning um, what's next for our program. Um, and so wanting to take some intentional time to share it with you. Um, we as a program exist um, to support parents in their, their primary, uh, as their task of being the primary catechist for their child. Um, at, at their baptism, you and, your, and their godparents um, were given this responsibility of raising them in the church and as children of faith um, to know and love God. Um, and at the same time, in that same moment, we as a church promise to support you in doing just that. Um, and acknowledging that raising children um, in today's society as Christians is, is countercultural, it's, it's very hard. Um, we, we have moved to this um, space where, where it's becoming harder and harder to do. Um, and we don't want to be in this, in this mo mode of checking boxes for sacraments or, um, or, you know, signing this off as just one hour a week or whatever it is. Um, our goal is to form families as domestic churches. Um, where every member of the family knows and loves Jesus and every member of the family has a relationship. Um, this is how we, we form disciples. Um, and in that, in that discipleship, allowing, allowing ourselves to share the love of Christ that we, we've come to know um, to those we encounter, whether that's through our words or not. Um, so here is how our program is going to start living this mission out. Um, and it's going to look a little bit different. Um, we are transitioning to, um, a three branch system. Um, we have had a catechesis of the good shepherd. Um, we've had an atrium for a very long time. Um, and it would start it out as just a level one for children starting at the age of three. Um, then as they grow up, we, um, we would transition them to a traditional classroom setting. Um, last year, we were able to expand to a level two, which is serving children um, in first through third grade. Um, and this year, we are expanding again to level three, which is exciting and awesome. Um, at the same time, we are launching a family catechesis program where we bring parents in. This is a, a very real way that we intend to support families in this, particularly parents in this mission, to um, be the primary catechist for your child. So we are bringing families together to go through this content um, and as your child approaches their confirmation, 
years, they will enter into our new two-year confirmation prep. Um, and I want to take a little bit of time to dive a little deeper into each of these branches. Um, starting with our Catechesis of the Good Shepherd. Um, catechesis of the Good Shepherd is a Montessori approach, based approach to catechesis. Um, children come and work with different materials. Um, and when in working with them, it the goal is to help them contemplate um, the life of Jesus, the parts of the mass, the history of the kingdom of God, and so many other beautiful um, truths of our church. Um, we transitioned last year to our, where our first reconciliation and first communion prep was done in the style and the method of catechesis of the Good Shepherd, um, and that will continue this year. Um, and I, I truthfully believe that this is a beautiful um, witness and a beautiful way to enter into to the reception of these sacraments. Um, so... This fall, we will be offering all three levels of Catechesis of the Good Shepherd at our parish. Um, there has been some, some losses and some changes in our ability to offer them at times. So we will not be offering a CGS session after the 9 a.m. Mass on Sundays. Um, that is a very long-standing tradition where after the 9 a.m. Mass was religious ed. And I know that this is probably going to be the most difficult change for families. And I, I acknowledge that, and I am here to work with whoever, um, however I can. But we'll be offering levels one and two on Sunday afternoon, um, following the 1130 mass. So the session will be from, 11, from 1230 to 2 p.m. Um, and then we are able to offer levels one, two, and three on Monday evenings, um, starting at 330 from 330 to 5. So if your child is in preschool age three, starting at age three through sixth grade, um, there is options available to be in our catechesis of the Good Shepherd. Um, in, in the coming years, I really do hope to offer levels one, two, and three on the weekend, um, but particularly um, level three on Sundays. There is no option for level three on Sundays which I do also realize leaves no Sunday option for our fourth to sixth graders. Um, and so in an effort to help families who can't commit to coming during the week, um, we are also launching our family catechesis program. Now, my plan has always been to start family catechesis at our parish. Um, I truthfully think um, that family catechesis is a vital part of offering a well-rounded catechetical program. Um, but in, um, in an attempt to try, well, in an attempt to offer families things that can work in our busy schedules, I, we're gonna launch the expansion of CGS and family catechesis at the same time. So a little bit more of an uh, explanation of what family catechesis is. It is mostly at home. Um, so we here at the parish, well, me particularly, um, will in, be intentionally supporting you as a parent. So you will come, you as a parent will come once a month, um, and we will gather and discuss the lessons for, for the remainder of the other three weeks of the month. Um, and we will have time where parents can talk about activities or share, um, other things about living this liturgical life. And then the rest of the month, you as a parent will guide your family through the content. Um, again, I do recognize that this is a shift. Um, and I do want to respect and honor the feelings that come with that. However, just like this is the option, the best option that we can offer. And um, I, I think after giving it a try, we might see that this is super beneficial for our for all, all of our families. Um, my goal in the end is to offer CGS, Catechesis of the Good Shepherd, um, levels one, two, and three um, during the week and on weekends, but then also have family catechesis and opening it up to, um, to the parish. So even parents who have 
children in Catholic schools and do not have to participate in religious education, um, they can still benefit from, from this family catechesis content. Um, so as your child gets ready, um, gets a little older and gets ready for their confirmation, we will be, they will be entering our two year confirmation prep program. Um, so this program is gonna be two parts. Um, it will start in the seventh grade. Um, and in seventh grade, they will be meeting monthly and the, their catechist will meet them. We're going to be going to different homes of parishioners um, in the evenings during the week. So it will be, I think this year it's gonna be Tuesday evenings. Um, and we will gather at five o'clock. We will have dinner together. We will go through our content with our catechists. Um, and then in seventh grade, they will also be participating in the Theology of the Body Conference. Um, and that's a diocesan requirement. We have to um, teach that content to our seventh graders and so that we, we will do that. Um, as your child moves to eighth grade, they will continue to meet monthly at parishioners' homes um, with their catechists. But we will also add um, once a month service Saturdays. So we will all gather and do a service project as a group together um, and talking about how, how we can better live out our call as Christians uh, to serve. Another diocesan requirement is a retreat. So the eighth graders will have an eighth grade confirmation retreat. Um, with these shifts and changes, we are attempting to walk with the whole family. I desperately wanna move away from this, um, this program where parents aren't, aren't a part, aren't welcome, or, or not welcome, but aren't a part of catechesis. Um, your child will learn more from you than they ever will from me or from any other catechist. Um, and that's a beautiful thing. Um, and so I'm hope my, my hope and my prayer in these changes is that we are better able to integrate um, catechesis throughout the entirety of your family. Um, and we will walk together as we all try to raise these tiny little Christians into big adult Christians. Um, so that that is our offerings for this year and a little bit more of an explanation. I am so happy to answer any questions you may have. Um, and I, along in this video, I'm sending the registration link. So please feel free to register your children. Um, I will see you soon.